This is a quick demonstration of how you can put an isometric uh, graphic into the top right part of your plans uh, using Google SketchUp. Uh, and here's basically where we start. We've made all our plans, we've drawn this in two dimensions, and if you rotate this you can see this is just a flat drawing. There's no 3D stuff going on here in SketchUp at all. And I'll use the top view to see it from the top again. Zooming extents is always a good thing to do. And I've already modeled this thing in 3D in another window, so I'll go over to that other window. And there's the 3D model. It's a simple enough thing to do. The trick of an isometric is we want to turn off the perspective. So I'm going to go to camera and turn off the perspective first. And that flattens the image. And then we want to make sure we get a truly isometric view. And that's available right there. The ISO view is right there using this button. And if you don't have that button, make sure you go to view toolbars and find the views and turn it on. You should also have the large tool set available. So now we've got the exact uh, angle that we want on this thing. I'm going to zoom extents so it's as big as it possibly can be. And I'd like to get rid of those lines so that they don't show up and that's under view as well. And I'll turn off the axes. So now we've got the perfect ISO perspective on our, uh, on our object. And I want to take this and export it. So I'm going to file, export as a 2D graphic. You have lots of options down here, and the first thing to do is set it up as a JPEG, and then go down to the options. And under the options, I'd suggest you don't use the view size. I had problems with that, so I just used a nice round number of 800 pixels for width. I guess you could also define it by the height, but I think that the width is what's going to constrain it. So I'm going to say now it's anti-aliased. Yep, better quality. Okay. Say OK, and I will save it under a meaningful name, and hit the export button. Now I'm going to go back over to my plans. I use Alt-Tab to find my other windows quickly. And I'm going to go File, and I'm going to import that graphic. Under the Import menu for Graphic, Use as Image. If you've used anything else recently, it's going to give you the wrong results, so make sure you use it as an image and select that same file that you chose or that you created. Say Open. And now you have to define the anchor points for the graphic, so I'm going to start by putting it in the middle. And I'm going to stretch it up and bring it over to the right hand side. I'm going to stop there so it doesn't get any wider than that. And it fits beautifully inside of that panel. Uh, certainly you can take the thing and you could probably just move it up a little bit if you wanted to center it. But it's a nice white background. It shouldn't obscure anything else. And you've now got a perfect set of plans with a perfect isometric. Very easily done.